Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of Draconis Go. Today I'm covering artifacts. Every single artifact in the game that you can find or purchase, what the effects are, and just some other questions that have been asked about artifacts, we'll be answering them. So this first section of artifacts are the ones that affect interactions with arenas or libraries. First off, we've got um, Visionary's Face, available in chests. This gives you two remote placings to, of, of a creature to an arena or library per day. So I've got the Conqueror's Helmet and I've also got one that allows me plus one. So the one that I have is... It's Trickster's Mask. So they haven't actually put this one in. This is Trickster's Mask and this is what Conqueror's Helmet looks like. Plus three remote placings, uh, a creature to an arena or library. So what it allows me to do basically is to, from my home, potentially click on this gym which um, by the way once you um, if you leave your uh, creatures in gyms and they don't have any interactions they will act at the end of it I, I think it's like I think it makes it in there for like a week and a bit and um, they get kicked out anyway but that means you can get your weekly bonus when you recapture it so yeah you would you would be able to do that and it, this would light up so you would be able to click on it to add a creature to it I don't tend to use it around my local area I use it when I am um, say on a bus and you're going past some areas some bits that are like really hard to reach they're like places where there's water and nobody's really going to go to get to it that's the, they're the ones you want to go for because nobody's going to contest them let's look at the other ones and their effects as well we've got congress helmet which is the one that i just showed you dragon slayer's helmet hat gives you plus five remote placings not really worth it for three thousand coins if you've already got the conqueror's helmet you're not going to need that massively we've got banner of ruler which is 300 coins in the shop allows you to place one more creature in the arena or library so that allows you to add two creatures to a library so you can it's going to be better when we're going to need to defend gyms arenas when it becomes a bit more popular and there's a bit more um more of a battle between the blue and reds but for now, really not worth it. Conqueror's Rod is 300 coins in the shop. Gives you plus two to the level of an arena or library after it's captured. So again, not really useful at the moment. It will help your creatures to stay in the gyms. Um, so if you do want them to stay and want to capture loads, I wouldn't suggest buying this until you're past level 26 though, where, because at level 26, you'll enter the gold league and all your gym, uh, all your creatures get kicked out, just like they do at level 15. Before you reach that level, make sure you collect your tax uh, or make sure that you, if you're just at the, the close to the end of your retraining uh, in your library, let that time come down, then go into level 15. Uh, we have the tax collector's ring which gives you plus one maximum number of captured arenas so just redoing this bit here because my maths was way off tax collector's ring it can be found in chess and gives you plus one maximum number of captured arenas so the max you can have is 10 this will give you 11 and the double ring which costs 5,000 coins will give you plus three um, to the number of captured arenas note they don't stack none of the artifacts do so what this will mean is it will take your tax collection from arenas up to times three um, so let's take out all the plus three coins you'll get on the first time you claim it off an arena you haven't claimed off before to get the weekly bonus you will get 70 uh, for every 10 on average with this you'll get 21 added and that will give you 91 coins so you're going to be getting 21 coins minimum extra now as long as you claim every day not taking into account tax collection reductions from quests um, and the fact that it's 21 hours you're gonna every time if you go log in every day you should be able to collect those extra 21 coins if you maintain having 13 arenas um, captured now 21 times um, seven so seven days is 147 there are 52 weeks in a year which will give you 7644 so if you play this game for the next year and you bought this game from day one and you maintain 13 captured arenas you're going to be ending up with 7644 coins if you didn't use them didn't spend them at all so it's going to take you that's minimum by the way it's so not taking into account plus three coins but it does mean maintaining those 13 arenas if you do that then two-thirds of the year you're going to be going back into profit if you're planning to play this game a lot longer 
buy this if you're going to buy it buy it early on and you're going to be seeing profit from it um, in by, by two thirds of the year's time we've got pie eaters cup 20% uh, to fame of allied arenas and libraries during training uh, could have done with these ones these all the next honey mug bowl deep thoughts and monster defeaters cup all have the 80% of fame so it's going to help you to train them up quicker again not really useful at the moment but when it does it takes a long time to train them up to level 10 so they would be really good We've got Adventures Rulebook, um, which you can find in chests. It gives you 15 minutes to owning an arena after it's been captured by an opponent. In uh, in, in the later later days, when if they are, there's a lot of contesting over the gyms arenas. They they're going to be pretty good. So if you think about Pokemon Go, where gyms are just getting taken and lost again and taken back and lost again, that's going to protect you against that. Grimoire Authority, which is 3,000 coins, increases that to 105 minutes. Which is a long time that's one hour and 45 minutes artifacts with which affect interaction with pillars of abundance for me these ones are the really good ones lazy students clock clock, clock can be found in a chest minus 20 seconds to recharging so um, habitually late alarm clock minus 40 space accelerator minus 60 and lazy professor's watch minus 80 and the one that i bought out of the um out of the shop because i think this is really good is minus 100 seconds to the recharging of pillars of abundance since i bought that i haven't ever once been tempted or needed to buy spheres i always had that problem in pokemon go where i have to go out and do massive long runs round um round like just round the local area to get to spin all the pillars and in my local area but be aware there, there are four poke stops four so it took ages with this you know i can just go chill at a triple poke stop uh pillars and just get them really nice and easy these are interactions artifacts that have interaction with creatures spiked collar gives 10 percent increase to speed of receiving soul stones from your pet so we've got 15 percent 25 percent and 40 percent from the with the respective ones teddy dragon is 5,000 coins which is a lot 40% increase to the speed of receiving soul stones. So if you think about that, um, translated for your 5Ks are gonna take three kilometers to receive a soul stone with Teddy Dragon. Um, with your back scratcher, 25%, so 1.25 meters is gonna be knocked off. So 3.75 meters to walk a 5K. 15% is gonna take you 0.75 off, uh, 4.25 and spiked collar is going to take 10 percent off so it's going to take 0.5 so it's going to be 4.5 kilometers to walk those 5k's so they're not going to make a massive difference but they still could be quite good with one with with the, your with your one kilometers as well you know they're only take 750 meters with um with the back scratcher um and 600 meters with the uh, teddy dragon there are a lot of um 5k kilometer walking with uh to get soul stones and the 1Ks are usually, I mean, these are amazing creatures that you're going to need the soul stones for unless you're just using them for mass evolves. Totem of Second Vision is 5,000 coins from the shop. It takes weak creatures off the radar. And in my opinion, this is the best. The best one that you can buy. If you are thinking about buying one, buy this. I have caught three, three rare, the red ones in the bestiary today alone because of this. Dragon's Heart is also really good. You um, you get uh, another cocoon from the Mother of Dragons warning. I've seen somebody do this and post this, which, oh, like the pain. I kind of wanted to like say, come on Elyad, give them another 3,000 coins. What's what? Because they didn't, they haven't actually put a warning on this, which I think, it, it, I, I know you don't take the risk before finding out but warning you can buy two but it will not enable you to hatch three eggs you can buy them but don't don't ever buy two only buy one so that's all the artifacts and in conclusion for me the best one to purchase has got to be the totem of second vision and and for me probably one of the best just free ones it's not amazing but conqueror's helmet um just allows you to play allowing you to place three remotely 
means that you're getting those 10 arenas really easy. You know, when you've got to keep putting live, you, you're gonna have to, every time you retrain a, a creature, you have to, you, your creatures get knocked out of a library and you've got to put them back in. This just makes it really easy for me to put them in. You know, you don't have to go into really awkward spots to um, get right in front of a library to do it. Um, so I think comfortably that, that is probably one of the, the better free ones. Um, but they're all red drops uh, if they're not from the chest if they're not from the shop from chests so get hunting them down they are they spawn in the same place for everybody um, but they have different rewards suggesting that the reward is probably determined on an individual basis right there and then okay well that's all for this video hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have please hit that like button and hit subscribe if you want to keep up to date with future information that's all from me see you soon